It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we got a beer to show you from Australia, from Deeds Brewing Company. It was kindly sent by Trav in Australia. Thank you, Trav. Thank you very, very much. Uh, this is by yeah, Deeds Brewing Company, based in Glen Irish, Australia. And this is their bigger on the inside, extra special bitter. 5.4% ABV. 440 milliliter can, an independent brewery since 2012. So that's 11 years of independent brewing. And I gotta be honest with you, these limited edition beers from Deeds Brewing Company have been absolutely fantastic. I'm so excited to show you this beer because We brewed our own ESB, Extra Special Bitter, with Lord's Brewing Company about a year or two ago now. And I love the style, Extra Special Bitter. I like a regular bitter, but the Extra Special Bitter, the amount of malt added to the beer, the extra malt, the extra kind of everything that comes with it, yeah absolutely brilliant um, I've also brewed an ESB uh, a Welsh special bitter it was a WSB with a company called Grey Trees Brewery that were based in or are based in Aberdeer South Wales brilliant brewery Grey Trees so without further ado then let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get uh, I think the company that really made ESB kind of stand out on the map would of course Fuller's Fuller's Brewery they produced an ESB and they've been producing it for a number of years um, it's a really good beer Fuller's ESB that's available if you want to buy it it's available in Waitrose um, but the thing is with ESB extra special bitter is that it can mean two things. ESB can either mean English special bitter or of course extra special bitter. Because I'm Welsh, um, we decided to go with extra special bitter as to not kind of blur the lines when we drew the Stone Crow, the extra Stone Crow bitter. We've got a one finger slightly off white head on this one. Good levels of carbonation rising up the side of the glass. This is hazy, 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 dark. Almost mahogany colored beer. Uh, let's get the aroma on it then. It looks terrific. Is there any sediment in the bottom of the glass? Small amounts of sediment in the bottom of the glass. Brilliant aroma. Oh yeah. Probably, if I'm perfectly honest, this could probably benefit with warming up slightly. I got it out the fridge about 10 minutes ago and my fridge is four degrees. I would ideally drink this at eight, nine degrees. But it is the middle of summer. It is humid and hot and I did fancy it quite cold today. What happens when you warm a beer up, especially a beer with kind of lots of maltiness coming through, is that the more you chill it, the more you kill the flavour. So warm it up a bit and all those flavours come roaring back to you. The best way to kind of do it is just kind of hold the glass for a few minutes and it'll quite quickly warm up with your warm hands. Um, yeah, but it's a bit raisin-like, bit plum-like, biscuity, bready. You can you can get the kind of the different layers of malt coming through, a nuttiness, a biscuitiness, a breadiness. It smells really good, really good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody.
Oh, oh. oh, wow. Stone the crows. Stone the crows. What a terrific beer this is. Wow, it is so bready and biscuity and nutty. But before, before you get all of those wonderful flavours, you're picking up this terrific, terrific hoppiness. They've used, I'm going to say they've used Australian hops in this. So there's a nice Australian twist to the beer. Maybe they should have called it an ASB, an Australian special bitter. Have I just invented a new style? An Australian special bitter, an ASB. And of course that Australian version of this would be this. It's nutty, it's biscuity, it's bready. It's, it's fantastically kind of malt based, but at the same time, I've not looked at the side of the can. I cannot tell you 100% with a whole load of confidence, but I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure they've used Australian hops in this beer to give an Australian twist on things. But that is so good. Little bit of carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. It's so floral. It's such a, it's almost kind of like, there's a flavour in there that I can't quite put my finger on. very tempting to go down the same road of saying it's lemony and it's orange peely and kind of fleshy blood orange I haven't used that one in a while um, but watermelon it's got the, that's it. it took me a while then it really took me a while but it's got this like kind of like watermelon like flavor coming through and I think that's because it's, it's clashing with the malt the hops and the malt are clashing together and it's offering up this kind of like watermelon like flavour. It is absolutely fantastic. It is one of the best ESBs I've ever tried. Again, Deeds Brewing Company, they've won multiple awards in Australia. If you're from Australia, because you're never going to be able to get this beer in the UK. If you're from Australia, then then please make an effort to go and buy some Deeds Brewing Company beers, even if they're just one-offs, and you get to drink them once, and you never get to try them again. It's incredible beer. And again, this wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for Trav. Trav in Australia. I feel like... I know this company, I know this brewing company, because I've had so many of their beers, yet the beer is impossible to get in the UK, and I only get to try it when it's sent from Australia. Absolutely brilliant beer. Just starting to rain here. Look at the quality of that beer as a rocket back and forth. Look at that, absolutely wonderful. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant beer. This English special bitter, so they've called it extra special bitter on the front and they've called it English special bitter on the back. My dear friend is more than just a mere beer. It's a marvel of engineering, a work of art, and timeless, and a timeless classic, all ro rolled into one. And the best part, it's bigger on the inside. You see, it's not just a beer, it's a gateway to the infinite, a portal to the wonders of the universe. 
it can travel through time and space and its interior is almost as infinite as the universe itself. Life, my dear friend, is full of surprises. Sometimes things are much bigger on the inside than they appear on the outside. And that's what makes it so exciting. It's a reminder that there's always something new to discover, something that will surprise and amaze you. So come on, take a look around. I promise you won't be disappointed because when it comes to deeds, things are always bigger on the inside. I'd love to know the amount of malts that they've used to produce this beer. Oh, uh, the hops are East Kent Golding and Fuggles, so they're, they're, they're not... It's, it's no, there's no Australian hops in this beer. How on earth have East Kent Goldings and Fuggles offered so much watermelon flavour? Maybe they're grown in Australia. If so, your East Kent Goldings and your Fuggles that you're producing in Australia are terrific. They benefited from that sunshine. <coughs> They haven't put the, um, the malt. I would love to know how many malts they put in this beer. I think that's something that if I can be slightly critical is I would have loved to have known the amount of malt in the beer. How many different malts did they use? Maybe it's a 10 malt beer. I know our extra stone crow bitter had like 8 to 10 different malts in it. It was just incredible. Rating then for bigger on the inside ESB warmed up a bit now too. Mm. That is so jammy and wonderful and jammy in a plum watermelon jam type flavour. Great mouthfeel, great taste, fantastic beer. Stone the Crows, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I've brewed ESBs myself, with breweries of course. I've brewed two now. I know what to expect, I know what they should taste like, and this, this is fantastic. Thanks for watching, thanks to Trav for sending. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!